What's going on, JK family? It's your girl, Kenya. It's your boy, Josh. And we are back, back with another reaction, reaction video. video. And today's video is... We got Dave, Black Box. Y'all, we see in the comments a lot of you guys... y'all want it. Yeah, uh -huh. you guys um referred us to Dave, Black Box, and you specifically mm -hmm. said not the Cypher one. So, um, we're gonna do... We hope this is the right one, y'all. I hope this is the right one. Sure. Yeah, Dave, Black Box. Um, we if love... it's not right in the comment section, we yeah, do know. We love Dave, though. We're excited about this. Yes, I think Lord. he was like, what, 15, 16? in this video he was? Oh, yeah dang, so let's okay. see what 15 16 year old Dave was Sound working like. with because mm -hmm. y'all know he he the bomb he bomb. he's it okay yes, he's sure. in our top five make All sure right? you like share comment and subscribe too one time and thank you baby yeah let's know who we shouting out today today we're shouting out aziz ddd okay welcome to the jk family yes, welcome to JK. let's go we're gonna get right to it okay. Listen, cool. Look. Walking down the road and I don't even know my ends now. Everybody's shanked up, everybody's got a skeng now. And man, I trying to cut through the jersey. Talking about their cock in the semi, they move rocks to the ready, see. Every boy's a trapper till the shit hits the fan. And then the shit hits the walls, you're flushing bits to the floor. Oh. And every girl's a trap queen till they kick in the door. Wow. And now you're in a station. Mm. Oh, okay. Yep. One thing I did notice or I no noticed with Dave is he um pronounces and he says his words very um like he's like A B C D E F G. Like oh, okay. he's very, you know what I'm saying? You can he can you can he can mouth his words and you hear him know what he's saying. Yes, he's very clear mm -hmm. um with his words and the way that he rhymes. Um and I really like that because I think that's what makes him stand out and makes him different. Mm -hmm. But um in regards to what he just said, that man, man yeah. said everybody's a, a trapper until it hit the fan. It really hit the uh -huh. fan. Every woman, <laughs> every female's a um Trap queen. Trap uh -huh. queen until it's time to knock them doors down. Mm -hmm. Like when it when things really do hit the fan and when it's time to get it cracking. It's scary. That's when all so, of a sudden all that 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 courage and that boss mentality mm -hmm. goes out the window. Runs out the window. Oh my god, I had nothing to do with it. Right. Because you never know who you will find. I'm so over it. <laughs> but um yeah, y'all, that's just the truth though. Mm -hmm. And he said this at 15, 16 years old. Yeah, you know, he know he was done. Down for greatness. Mm. The story's like road down, your man are in a holding cell, hoping that you hold out. My ends is all fucked now, got a nigga trying to cut now. I've been to the end of that road, bruv. I've been to them graveyards, I've been to the pen for my bros. And bruv, I've seen what a skin does the mugs in the south. Like I've seen a shank leaving niggas' guts hanging out. Seen big straps make a whip crash, no whiplash. Big money make a big man look like a kid act. You ain't really from here. Our money's clean, the vision's never cloudy. So no, what I'm on clear, you're trapping for designer. I'm in and out of Santa. He said Santan mm. again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in his song Hangman, we were trying to figure out what Santan means. Come uh -huh. to find out that was his um nickname. I think that's his nickname. Mm -hmm. So He said y'all trapping for a designer though. See? Mm. I ain't trapping to get out the hood for real. Right, or trapping <laughs> to actually help take care of Your mom or mm -hmm. dad. You or... trapping to hit what rock that mom clear or something like that. Right. You hit you trying to wear mom clear but ain't really living for real. Right. Yo. You rocking a three thousand dollar coaster, living in an apartment. Right. Come on, right, man. Right. Riding a bus. I cannot <laughs> believe fifteen, sixteen year old Dave is rhyming like mm -hmm. this though. Like this, this young man has been. Well, he's a grown man. Grown you know? man. This was five years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know, at the time, it's like this young man is is talking about things that. You Ain't know, no really talking about. the typical 15, mm -hmm. 16 year old shouldn't be talking about. Right, absolutely. Um, but obviously, he clearly has been through a lot or has seen and witnessed a lot, a lot. at mm -hmm. such a young age. Mm -hmm. He um, said um, he said one of his boss, someone got stabbed and had their guts ripped or something. Wow, like that. wow. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I like about Dave is um, no matter what he's been through, and I, I don't know because I don't personally know him, mm -hmm. but. Um, out from the outside looking in, this man holds himself um, in such an amazing manner. For him to be able to come out with music now, he's so versatile, number one. Mm -hmm. But number two, he comes out with this music that um, touches so many people. Mm -hmm. And um, he, he speaks a lot of, of great things in mm -hmm. his music. Yep. And so when you're able to take your past and, and take you know um, trials and tribulations and be able to turn that over into your music and mm -hmm. really do something great. Yeah, that's Bravo dope right there. Can okay, everybody do that though? Yeah. And be positive too. That's too. Yeah. 
Celtic on for a lineup. Four one nine, that's word to my Nigerian uncle up in Lagos. Yeah. Some favors for the paper. Bring all your yeah, dice, you can lose that war. You bring a burner to the beef, I'll make you use that corn. You bring a turner to the madness, you can lose that corn. My Leicester niggas have you missing us some unicorn. School they never read. Girls call me a money man, the youths call me a pagan, but I've never been a witness like Jehovah. So I couldn't tell you my involvement from sticks to revolvers. Wow. I've never been no victim to them olders, so I can't disclose what the holy can. Oh mm. my goodness. goodness. Whoa. He said he said Nigerian Lego, so I think that's where his where he probably his family grew up at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know in his um I think it was the um black music video uh -huh. um i think that's where we kind of discovered that he had some african culture sure. uh -huh. in his background and i think someone had commented that um his family was from nigeria, nigeria. Okay, that's cool. um which is so cool um because my in-laws are my sister's in-laws they're yeah. from nigeria i'm trying to go to nigeria yes i'm trying to go to the motherland period i ain't never been over same, there same same mm -hmm. same y'all I'm trying to learn all that culture. Yeah, no, but I absolutely love um, Dave as always, yeah. and I think it's it's just amazing that he is going in like this at such a, a young age, age at this time. Uh huh. Yeah, it's insane. Gave my friends a square and they still trying to bump me. What does he mean by that? So basically, he was giving, he was feeding his homies and they still try to kick him to the curb. Mm. Mm -hmm. You feeding your homies at 15, 16 years old. Like, right. what do you, <laughs> how do you have that kind of responsibility? Yeah, that? that is just absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy that, you know, people or young men actually live, have to live their yeah, life. That a lot way. of kids got to grow up fast, depending on like their situation. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. You guys, comment in the comment section and let us know what y'all think about yeah, this so, so far. Yeah, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you guys been fans of um How long Dave? you been fans of Dave? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Have, have y'all been rocking with him since? Why, are y'all loyal fans or y'all just jumped on when he got on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Murder, a knife grinder, lifetime, the whole sentence he's serving. Now in my chest, my brother knows it's burning. And visits had me crying, had me roping, had me taking pills to help it. Looking, thinking, who am I? Trust you never knew this guy. Grandma died, had my mother stricken, talking suicide. Trust me, I don't say that shit. Why I never rate these kids? My mum was in a madness. You ain't never seen no pain like this. I know you niggas feel this. Brother putting on a brave face for the visit, but I know my brother feels it, and my brother don't wow. reveal it. Nah. Mm. Oh, okay. First of all, that whole line, like that, that whole, whole story, right there. he was talking about his, um, brother. his brother being in jail and 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 he there for eighteen years. Yeah, serving the full time, mm -hmm. and he was saying that um, when every time he goes to go visit him, mm -hmm. he knows that his brother tries to act all brave, like hey, like it's I'm a it's a regular here. visit, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he knows that that is probably killing him inside to yeah. see him, like. Dude, it's rough in here. He said his grandma died. A lot of stuff happened when his brother was in that yeah, joint. Yeah, so. yeah. And he said just for him going to see him, he had to take pills for it. Right, mm -hmm. right. Because it was right. hurting him to see him. Yeah, like messing him up mentally. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Right. And at 15, 16, right. y'all, like that must have been really hard. Right. For and, him. and you don't know what his brother was to him before that. You know what I'm saying? His brother could have been the one providing for the family. Right. And then right. his brother going on what he got to step up and do the provide. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wow. And he found a way to provide by rapping instead yeah. of like doing other stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you guys comment in the comment section and let us know if you guys have ever been in a situation where like that, yeah. um you have been either on Dave's end or you've mm -hmm. been on the brother's end where it doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily mean you've been in jail, but if you've ever been in a place where you felt mm -hmm. like You gotta pick up the pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or it was hard for you to seize your brother pick up the pieces mm -hmm. because you weren't in the position what? to help do anything. Mm -hmm. Well, your dad left when he was a young age. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My brother don't reveal it, take a life from my mother, my brothers don't want to steal it. But this track's got me on the rage. My brother's stressed out, and man can see it in his face, like man can see it in his eyes. He's holding back the tears, that judge moving like a mire. Holding back them years, they done my brother dirty. Doing hard time, he didn't even do the dirties. But I can't say much, cause certain man are snitches, a certain man are
bitches. And certain girls are witches, and while they wasn't witness, put their shanks in my brother's back. How's that fair? Gave scale 16, and Ruby wasn't even there. Case was all banter to the junior got cancer. Mm. First of all, he said that his brother is serving a time for something that he, he didn't even do. do. Mm -hmm. And um, there are a lot of cases mm -hmm. where people are serving life sentences yep. for something that they didn't do. And that, to me, is crazy. Real. That actually is real. It's like, crazy to me, though, because I just kind of feel like how unfair is that? That someone has to suffer and, and, and get their freedom taken away mm -hmm. from them for something that they didn't even do. do right. Like, that doesn't even make sense to me. Yeah. One. And to this day, there's people in jail right now locked up for stuff they didn't even do. Yeah, number one. Number two, he said something about um, some of these women are witches and the one, they're mm -hmm. the same ones as witnesses. Yeah. Like, lying out their teeth, teeth mm -hmm. up there as a witness, trying to act like they done seen, heard, mm -hmm. and know everything that happened, yeah. knowing daggone well, they have no idea no who idea. did it, why he did it, and mm -hmm. when they did it. Well, he basically said his brother was set up. Yeah. And one of them, one of them witches... Was a witness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For a lie. For wow. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. And mum's got sick, and tells got told, and then the pain wore off, and true colors got sold, and certain men got free, and all the real niggas don't. So, shout out Lewis, and shout out Serge. Now I'm rolling with an R, and we'll get my R. What? Whoa. My word, eh? I'ma get you down. A couple men, they wow. wanna get you. I'ma get you first. I'ma get you last. And I'ma get you well. And show you snitch your mother. You could, did y'all hear? Y'all hear the pain in his voice? My goodness. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you see that vein right there. That means that is pain coming from the inside out. He expressing himself. No, but like you know the way that he just got so serious. It was like like his, you feel as though he about to cry. That's how much pain he got. His heart literally just came out of his chest and mm -hmm. right into the mic. Like yep. you can feel the mm -hmm. hurt, the pain, the resentment, the frustration. Frustration, yeah. Like, I literally just felt that. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. And like, I'm listening to that drum like, dang, shawty, I feel that pain you got in you. Yeah, and I cannot believe how young he was, though. At like, that time. Uh -huh. It's just insane, though, that he had to experience all of those things. And what? it's so interesting to see the growth, because when we're watching this and we look back at how he was five years ago mm -hmm. and the kind of music that he's putting out today mm -hmm. and the and the, it's like he let go of all that pain five years ago, and now he's talking about a different story. I mean, and he still talks about his pain or whatever mm -hmm. in his stories today, but it's the way that he does it now. Uh -huh. It's just like you could see the growth mm -hmm. in him and, and in his music. Right. Um. But wow, y'all, this is crazy. This is crazy. Y'all was right about this in the comments. Yeah. Everybody in that jump, even if he was recording, like, dang, I gotta stay focused because this jump is. Do y'all see how this man just kind of like he has in. focused in? Mm -hmm. It's like once he's done, you kind of sit back and be like, dude. Dang! Man, you killed that jump, huh? So, no. No, but like, <laughs> seriously, though, y'all, comment in the comment section. Let, let us know what, what y'all think, think yes, Lord. about this video. Let mm -hmm. us know what y'all think about the song. We love you guys love so, 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 so much. much. Man, make sure y'all stay blessed out there and stay safe. Yeah, make sure you guys stay positive. Yes, Lord. Be blessed, be Take kind, care. and be loved. Mm -hmm. We love y'all so much. Love stay tuned for some more. Vlogmas! This is Vlogmas Day Days. 11. 11. We're going to post, one day, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna mm -hmm. post another day video, um, mm -hmm. two day videos today, just yep. to like, you know, kind of catch up yeah you know yeah actually y'all go watch some challenge videos too man. no wait this isn't vlogmas 11 this is vlogmas 12. This 12 vlogmas, yeah we tripping this yeah. is vlogmas day 12 because mm -hmm. today is um the 12th day of vlogmas no i'm really excited about christmas though. no <laughs> oh, when you don't want to talk, they want to say 12 different things. Yes, you are. Dang. Anyways, one you guys. black and gold ring, two Prada shoes, one Balenciaga, one Montclair, three Golden Rings. 
four what you do, five of what you say, six of what you don't, seven what you do, seven. Peace. What you do. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs>